Hi, welcome back to the Something to Think About series. Something to Think About, Episode 3. To IRA or not to IRA? That is the question. Let me ask you a two-question litmus test that, you know, the best advisors have used with thousands of families. Think about this as I ask you these questions. Do you think taxes are going to go up or down? Between now and when you retire or now and when you pass away, do you think taxes, what the IRS charges us, is going to go up or are they going to go down? And the second question is, do you want your income to go up or down? What do I mean by that? Do you want your income to keep up with inflation, keep getting raises and improving your quality of life between now and when you retire? Or do you plan on your income going down every year between now and when you retire? You see, funding 401ks, IRAs, 403bs, 457s, TSPs, and other pre-tax accounts is for people who believe these two things. One, that taxes will be lower when I retire, and they're going to keep going down and down and down. The second thing is, my income will be lower in retirement, though the cost of goods goes up every year. Hmm. This actually makes retirement very simple. If you're one of the people, like almost everyone that I've ever talked to, that says, no, I think taxes are going to go up because the country's in trouble and the government has announced that they can't afford Social Security or Medicare without raising taxes. If you're one of the majority that thinks taxes are going to go up and therefore you shouldn't postpone them to a later date when they're higher, you should pay them today when they're low, which, by the way, Paying low tax on a small contribution of, let's say, 6000 to an IRA makes more sense than paying high tax on a distribution when you're taking out, let's say, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. If you're one of those people, then you're probably looking for ways to pay taxes today and get it over with and invest in a place where you never pay taxes again. Well, this makes retirement planning really simple. We only have three choices of where you can invest the money. Municipal bonds... Roth IRAs, and private reserve accounts. Now, doesn't it make sense to study these three tools rather than hire a professional broker to choose which of the 40,000 stocks and 9,000 mutual funds to invest your money in? To me, it makes sense to study the tools that do what you want, not the tools that do the opposite of what you want. I'll bet your broker never told you that, but it's something to think about.